I've been interested for 20 years or more in the way cells sense oxygen and there are really two parts of that research. One was the recognition that in fact, unexpectedly, all animal cells possess a discrete mechanism of direct oxygen sensing, even those that don't make EPO, don't have kidneys, don't have blood cells. And at that point we realised that this had more significant implications for, for uh, physiology and medicine. The second is the elucidation of that mechanism, the upstream pathways that connect oxygen through a transcription factor called HIF to erythropoietin. And HIF is induced in hypoxia and it regulates all sorts of cellular and systemic responses uh, to adapt to low oxygen. So it's much more important than I ever dreamt or thought um, when I went into the field. And the challenge, of course, is how to obtain the therapy of one condition without perturbing a vast array of physiological responses which are unhelpful in that uh, setting. So one wouldn't want to engender uh, new uh, blood vessel growth in the eye, for instance, in someone in whom the aim was to treat anemia. I should say um, uh, that though I'd be delighted if there was a drug, I'm quite comfortable with the fundamental biology, which is for this reason, that oxygen sensing, this is something that I believe is true. It will be true in 10 years' time. It will be true in a hundred years' time. It will be true in a million years' time. And that, for me, is very satisfying, irrespective of whether there's a medicinal output. One of the extensions of this work is into integrative physiology. We, we have discovered a molecular mechanism and we wish to apply that to understand integrative physiology. If you consider the history of this, 100 years ago, Haldane and colleagues and subsequent work, most every measurement they made was beautifully correct, enormous precision. Most every deduction about molecular mechanism was incorrect. Uh, of course, we now have the tools to look at the molecular mechanism, but we now wish to infer an action on integrative physiology. We should not make the same mistake of extrapolation. The assessment of the integrative physiology will have, I think, to be made at the level of integrative physiology.